There's the chicken tractor with the tarp on it. We have our two seats for our automatic feeder and water we're gonna make. We got the rear ski installed. Welcome modern steaders. We just got done building the chicken tractor in 30 minutes for 30 bucks. Now we need to build a couple of different accessories. But for the accessories you're gonna need two more dog-eared fence pickets and one 36 inch long deck spindle. I'm gonna have a link down below where you can go and print off directions with material list and everything you're gonna need. The first thing we need to do is we need to cut our spindle into six pieces, five and three quarters of an inch long. Now we need to cut our picket into two pieces 26 inches long with a 45 degree angle on both ends. You mark your direction of your angle, you'll, you'll know which way to put your board when you're cutting it. In the whole project, this is the only scrap we're gonna have left over. Before we install the seats for our water and feeder, I'm gonna drill our half inch holes for the rope to move the chicken tractor. I'm drilling a half inch hole and I'm using half inch rope. So if you just drill close to either side of the upright spindle, once you have your holes drilled out, you can push your rope through. Go to the inside and feed it through the other hole and then back around the front and then we can tie it in place. I should have a Olivia tie this side for me. She's left handed, well backwards for me. And the reason I said do the rope first is that way we're gonna be putting our bucket seat here. We can have access. Now we need to mark 14 inches from the spindle to the top of the picket. I'm going to take the pieces of the spindle we cut up, put a little bit of glue on them, flush them up with our 14 inch mark, clamp is your extra set of hands, it comes in handy, flush up the top, we screw them from the outside. We can use our inch and a half long screws. Need to repeat the same process on this side now. I'm going to take it, run some glue along the top edge. Not only is this going to act as a seat for our five gallon waterer and feeder, but it's also going to act as a brace support and make the whole chicken tractor more rugged. You're going to want three screws per side. Now I 
I go do the same thing to the other side. A little bit of glue on the top edge of the picket and the five and three quarter inch long piece of spindle. This will just help glue everything and tie it all together and make it more rigid. And there's the two corner seats for the automatic feeder and water that we're going to be making in another video. But if you don't want to make your own automatic waterer and feeder for your chickens, you can buy one and you can set them here too. But I'm telling you, the ones we're going to make in the next video, they're going to be amazing. Just wait and see. Now we're going to take one of our five and three quarter inch long cut down spindle pieces, put some glue on it again. We're going to butt it up to the other upright spindle. We're going to set it on the floor. Now we need to go to the outside and screw it in place. I'm going to put the other side in while we're down here. If you already have your chicken wire in place, you're going to have to lift up your coop, flush it up from the bottom, and screw it in place. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we want to take our final fence picket and mark three and three eighths of an inch on it on both ends. I'm going to use my tape measure as a straight line and just lay it across from end to end on the line. Now I can use this as a ruler and just run my pencil down it and I score a line. You can see the pencil mark on there. That's how much I want sticking outside of the chicken coop. This will just be a visual reference for us. I'm going to use some glue. There's your rear ski install. The next step that we're doing is we're installing a six foot by eight foot white tarp. We're using white so that way it'll reflect the sun and it'll keep the birds a little bit cooler. If you use a blue tarp or a black tarp, it's gonna attract the heat and heat up the birds and almost cook them on you. You don't want that, that wouldn't be good. So white or silver would be my next option. We're gonna wanna go six feet this way it'll probably be about five feet eight inches so it might not cover all the edge that's fine and the eight foot way is going to go to the back we're going to go from like an inch or two beyond this way of the duplex nails and put the top and have the extra two feet on the bottom and that'll give the birds protection from the wind we're going to screw it in place, and the reason why we're screwing it is your top's going to need to be replaced every two to five years. Now with the tarp in place, it's over the door, which is fine. It's not going to mess up your door. Your door can still operate properly. In tomorrow's video, we're going to make the automatic water. So you'll want to make sure you subscribe to the channel so you come back and you don't miss out on that. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. And we'd love to see pictures of your modern setter chicken coop. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Our social media call sign is Lumna Acres. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.